guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I am Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are going to be playing probably the last part of Wildflowers. So, right now, we are at the lookout with Giva. She asked us to meet her here after the whole situation just went down with, uh, you know, everything. Um, and she wants us to probably tell her what's going on, I guess. Hey. Um... Are you are you are you still gonna marry me even though I'm a witch? So how long have you been a witch? Well, it still feels odd to say that. Scientists aren't supposed to believe in witches. I didn't know until I came to Fairhaven. Then I discovered Grandma's secret magical sanctum in the basement, and well, I wish I could have met Hazel. She seemed like quite the unique lady. She in was. any case, I understand that you only found out last year. But that was before we met. True. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I really didn't think you'd believe me. I didn't think you'd believe me. Well, I might not have, to be honest. I would have been concerned that you were suffering from delusions. Yeah. But I still wish I'd known. Darling, I'm just not sure if we should stay together. Oh. I can't help feeling betrayed. I don't know what to say. I mean, we can make it work, but, like, if that's what you want. I, c I wanted a happy ending. I we can make it I work. I want to make this work with you, Giva. I don't have any more secrets. That was my only one. If you discover that you're a vampire or a mermaid or whatnot, you'll tell me. You'd be the first person. In the open, you will be the first person I tell. Yeah, me. there you I go. I suppose it would be obvious. What with the teeth or the tail. <laughs> You'd look awfully cute as a vampire. I'd bite you and we'd be cute vampires together. <laughs> oh, come here. Aww. Uh... I think this is the first time I've seen you out my way. Well, thought you might be able to help me with something. Got this old pocket watch handed down from my pa. Tickers stop working, but you got a metal working table. Don't you? I do, but wouldn't you rather give it to Francis? He's the jewelry expert. Nah, it's a simple job. Gears just need replating, and the missing stone needs to be reset. Well, here, take it. Wow, this does look really special. If you get round to fixing it, let me know. Fix up an old broken watch for the first year. I can do that for you. Do I have a jewelry thing in here? Um, do, 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 do. Are any of these jewelry things? I have no idea. Oh, wait, this thing is, I think. All right, fix it. There we go, fixed it for him. Let me collect up all my cloths and stuff that I've got going, see if I can make any new outfits or not. Ooh, I really like this. This one, too. Uh, that one, too. I was able to make three. Oh, hey, Shelby. I was just about to... Oh, that's not Shelby. <laughs> you already knew, didn't you? Yep. Well, here you go. Oh, it is Shelby. You keep it. Why is it's he shadowed? Special, like I said. You know the time rewind spell I taught you? Well, it works like that. Only instead of just fixing a cake, you can rewind the whole room you're in. I put a charm on it, mind you. The people in the past won't be able to see you. And you won't be able to change what you see. Interfering in the past is too dangerous, even for the most skilled witch. So it's more like a visit to the past. That's right. It's an old heirloom, though. Probably only has one charge in it. Enough to get you there and back. Might be safest to try it in your house. Interesting. I really hope this doesn't magic me in front of a dinosaur. Well, here goes nothing. Whoa. Where... When am I? Oh. <laughs> A honeybee, you're here. Of course I am, Grandma. Episode one. For a moment, I thought you were Robert coming to collect me. No, Grandma. Shelby gave me his enchanted watch. 
I, I felt a warm breeze. Yes, we turned the seasons. That's all. <laughs> still a skeptic, I see. But there is still so much you haven't seen. Still so much to learn and do. We found Gloria in the gloaming, Grandma. We brought her home. Oh, I've done my best to take care of Violet since her mother disappeared. Don't worry. I promise I'll be here for her. I know you will, sweetheart. You're going to do great. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad you came back to see me. <sighs> me too. I just wish we had more time. We had... <laughs> Time enough. <laughs> We've learned how to run the farm. I'll take good care of it for you. And I know you can bring the community and the coven together. We're not quite there yet, but I, I think we will be. Promise me you'll remember everything I've taught you. I will, Grandma. I promise. You will be a marvelous witch. I can already see your powers blooming. It's time for me to rest. Take care, my beautiful little honeybee. I love you. I love you too, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. <laughs> Why did you make me relive that again? <laughs> That's terrible. Why? Why would it take me back to that time? You make me re-experience my grandma dying. That was sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, what do we have to do? We have our wedding in three days. Hopefully Giva still wants to marry us. Um, we need to go to Ravenwood Hollow because something's going on. And we need to go talk to Zephyr. So let's go to Ravenwood Hollow and let's do that really quickly since we've got several things that we need to do there. Hey, Zephyr. Did you get that ruby? Will yep. this one work? Oh, the structure's perfect. Give me a day to tune the frequencies. I'll bring it by tomorrow. Cool, thank you. Sweet. All right, we are getting the fairy fixed. Amira, what are you doing here? Hey, Amira. Picking up some essence or herbs today? No, I'm all set with that. For... ever. Okay. That was awkward. She seemed upset. Hi. I wish I could say Vanessa's reveal took me by surprise, but she always used to ask me for the oddest book recommendations. Looking back, I should have noticed her inclinations. What normal human needs a book on the history of ceremonial magic? Wesley. Are you serious? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? She said it was for a school lesson. What? Obviously, I shouldn't have believed that. No. You're a freaking idiot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he didn't say anything about that. That's really sketchy. And that's red flags. That's really weird. Okay, um, do we need to go talk to Perry? Vanessa's resolve, her single-mindedness, her cleverness. Parts of her remind me of myself. <laughs> it is startling. I wonder, have I ever sounded like her? All right, I guess you're not who I'm supposed to be talking to. Um, well, I think that I was supposed to be talking to... Wait, is this who leaves footprints? Oh, footprints, huh? We talking about the backwards foot guy? Where? Oh my gosh, this place is so confusing. He's over here. Last person to talk to. Hey, you've been doing some weird stuff. Ariel, give it to me straight. Were you the one harassing Marty and Kim when they first moved to town? I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. Excuse me. I need to go check on some baby birds that I rescued after they fell from their nest yesterday. Mariel hates confessing to his mischief. Pretty sure the few times Perry's gotten him to admit to something, she's used truth serum. I probably shouldn't give this to you, but 
Here. It really grinds my gears that Thomas has taken the blame for all of this. And if Ariel did do it, I want to know too. Pour it on a Malasada. <laughs> he won't be able to resist. All right. Sounds good. Now we have to make some sort of food to, to get the truth out of him. I'll be back for you, slow walker. All right. Thomas, uh, this isn't the best time. I'm, uh... Expecting someone. Hi, Thomas! Oh, oh gosh! Oh, no, 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 no! No, not <laughs> oh, goblins. No. Anything but goblins. Oh, wait! Uh, I, I'm, I'm Zephyr! And yes, I'm, uh, uh goblin. Uh, I've been... I've been goblin. wanting to chat. I want to clear something up. I think my mom gave your mom a spook in the mines some years ago. Yes, yes. And then the nitrogen levels in our soil started dropping. You did something to leach the nutrients from our land. No, no. It's because the mining company's activities caused flash floods. We goblins would never hurt your farm, Thomas. I got a question for you. I've noticed that things on my farm get repaired all of a sudden. That you're doing? Um, yep, 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 yep. Uh, sometimes I tinker around your farm when I see a need for tinkering. So, uh, what do you say? Maybe we could try being, I don't know, uh, normal with each other? Fine. Yay! Uh, I mean, uh, really? I was dead set against witches, but it turns out you magical folks are good for something after all. So, who knows? Yippee! Woohoo! I'm so excited I could just... Whoa. She always do that? Pretty much. Yay! All right. Well, Zephyr helped fix the fairy. That problem is solved. And now Thomas is coming around to the magical, mystical world. I'm so excited for everybody involved in this that is finally getting accepted after having to hide who they truly are for so long. It's just so nice to uh, finally see everybody, like, accepting it, you know? Um, I'm looking for uh, my spells because I, yeah, I need my speed boost back so I'm slow again. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. All right, let's see. So we need to take this food to Ariel to to truth serum, get him to tell the truth. We also have a cupcakes that we're supposed to bring to the next coven meeting. And then we have two days till our wedding. So let's go ahead and run over here and let's see if we can't find Ariel and see if we can't get him to divulge some truths for us. Where is he? Okay, probably not in there. I got this uh, food that, that I think you would like. Here, Ariel. I have something for you. They're your favorite, right? That they are. And how delightful and utterly unsuspicious that a witch is just <laughs> giving me my favorite treat. I'm sure they are not tainted by a potion at all. Uh. Ha! <laughs> witch. I can smell truth serum a mile away. Oh. I've gotten quite immune to it, actually. But I admire your moxie. You must really want to know who freed Marty's cows and splashed red paint on Kim's shop. Yes. Well, it was me. <laughs> and I'm not even a tiny bit sorry either. <laughs> I knew it! I knew you were letting Thomas take the rap! Oh! Got him. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> What's all the commotion over here? Sorry to pop in like this, but it was Ariel here who was bothering you, not Thomas. That's right. I cannot bear to see helpless creatures trapped in servitude to humans. Marty may be inept at caring for livestock, but this is all a bit extreme. I drove out the last rancher, and he was far more intrepid than you, Martin. Martin. You'll be gone soon enough. I'm sorry. We'll see if we can spell him to make him stay in Ravenwood. Harry's gonna be none too pleased, I will tell you that. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I gotta get back to my garden. Thomas, I'm sorry, I... Never mind. Let's just call it a truce from now on. Fair? Fair. 
Thanks for your help with this one, Terra. I'm still getting used to the whole you're a witch thing. The existence of magical creatures is a bit of a stretch, not gonna lie. But I guess I can't complain nothing ever happens on this island anymore, huh? True. Wow, 200 coins. That does nothing for me. Cool. Um, let's see. Now we gotta wait for that and wait two days. So... I guess we are waiting until probably nighttime. Marty, is your farm open? Can I buy some stuff from you? No. So, Natalia's single, right? I know she had a thing for Cameron, but maybe her ardor has cooled. Interesting. I could talk to her for you if you want me to. All right. Well, I guess we are waiting until nighttime to take these cupcakes to the coven and then on monday we're getting married we're getting married on monday cool got the cupcakes lena here are the cupcakes for the welcome party high priestess wonderful now i've invited sophia to join us as well so that she and juliet feel comfortable we'll have the party tomorrow night okay coven party tomorrow night uh and my wedding is in two days so we're gonna have a little party the night before my wedding sounds fun i'll see you guys later morning violet oh it's all the mirandas i wanted to see the wild farm again violet said you restored it to its former glory i just wanted to go for a walk he's still getting used to mom being here so he's like her barnacle i heard that otto's called an emergency meeting Will you come with us? It'd be my pleasure. Emergency meeting. Good morning. I am truly glad to see you all looking well. Auto soft, everybody. Now, with 100% less slime. There's no point in theatrics. I am resigning as the mayor of Fairhaven, effective immediately. Yeah. <sighs> no shocker there. He kinda had to step down, right? Meeting Stranger Danger Vanessa in the woods for all those years was corruption. I think. Who will replace you? I would like to nominate Gloria Miranda to be interim mayor until you all can hold another election. Does anyone disagree with that? Nope. Good. Gloria, do you accept? No? Yes? Uh, <laughs> yeah? I do. Okay. And that's settled. And it means that Vanessa and I can leave Fairhaven. The state attorney general wants to have a conversation about some of my, um, past fundraising efforts. I have something to say. I'm sorry for the way I acted. Nah. I may have been possessed by a wraith, but before that, I kept secrets and manipulated people. I was only concerned about myself. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to the coven. And to Juliet especially. I've thought about it, and I don't have a place in Fairhaven. Nope. Not right now. Or ever. So I've spoken to Giva about taking <laughs> over at the school. I'm quite excited. We'll be taking the next ferry to Milkwater. Bye. Honestly, I'm not Amen. sad. A sea monster came out of nowhere and ate the ferry. <laughs> Violet. Joking. Joking. <laughs> hey, I I just realized I came to Fairhaven a year ago today. Really? Do you wish that you were on that ferry? Heading back to the city? No. Not for anything. Wow. We actually got end credits. I'm surprised by that. I didn't think that we were going to get that all right let's skip the credits and see all right so it goes back into the game let's see congratulations on finishing the first year of wildflowers we hope you've enjoyed playing though you finished the main story there are plenty more stories to experience so check in with people over the coming days if you want to see more we hope you enjoyed the game oh my gosh that is so cool all right welcome party tonight after seven and tomorrow is our wedding and then we will end this episode because i definitely want to show you guys the wedding and everything and um that's not till tomorrow so i am going to again hang out until it's time to go back to the coven have our little party and then tomorrow we will wake up and have our wedding i'm excited about that finally gonna get to marry give a 
All right, it is almost seven o'clock, which means it is party time for the coven. Cupcake party. Sophia and Juliet, welcome. We're so glad you came. Wow. I guess I can see why Vanessa wanted to break in here so badly that she, uh... We don't have to talk about that, Mom. I'm fine. Really. Oh, you're strong. Like your dad. Is this... where Giacomo used to meet you all when I thought he was out at Damon's bar? Yes. And there's something of his I've been meaning to give you. <gasps> this is Dad's wand. That's so sweet. Does it still work? No. The wand is bonded to the witch. But you should have it. Thank you. <sighs> you were all such a big part of his life, and... I didn't even know about it. I wish. Well, it's in the past now, but if Juliet wants to be the next Moretti to join your coven, I'll support her decision. It's what Giacomo would have wanted. And what about you, baby bro? Mm, this island might not be as gleam as I thought. I guess I'll stick around. Okay, okay, you can let go. Come on. Ooh, cupcakes. Wait, these aren't like magic cupcakes that will turn me into a frog, right? No way. What kind of weirdo would do that? Oh, let's talk to Gloria. Every new addition to our coven is something to celebrate. We've lost so many over the years. That's true, I guess. Um, all right, well... I guess that was the party. <laughs> uh, and I think Bruno wants to go fishing tomorrow, but I guess maybe it's our wedding. I, I'm pretty sure that this is our wedding. I'm hoping that Give is not just going to show up tomorrow and be like, all right, so here's the information for when our wedding actually is. Hopefully it's tomorrow. But I guess we'll just have to go to bed and wake up tomorrow and we'll see. Before I walk out of my house, I want to put on this dress that I made for the wedding, just in case it does happen. This is the closest thing I could find to a wedding dress. I've got other cute, like, outfits, but, oh, you know what? No, that's, wait, that's so pretty. Oh, the blue version? Oh, wait, I might go with this. This is so pretty. I think she looks great in this. All right. Morning, bride-to-be. I'm here to escort you to the ceremony in the woods. Or to the ferry if you get cold feet. Ha, ha, <laughs> Not ha. that you would do that. Marriage is great. Yep. Thanks, Parker. Lead the way. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, how beautiful. I'm taking so many pictures. Oh, I didn't even need to do the dress. They look so pretty. Are they going to say something? Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And Gloria is, oh my gosh, she's going to marry us. I love this. Though I haven't known Giva and Tara very long, I have witnessed their joyful, adventurous spirits come together. I can see that as partners, they are able to draw strength from one another. And that is a beautiful thing. I am honored to preside over their wedding today so that they might offer that support to each other for all of their lives. Tara, do you take Giva to be your wife? Yes, I do. And Giva, do you take Tara to be your wife? Of course. I do. I now pronounce you married. I wish you both all the happiness in the world. I'm so happy. What a beautiful little wedding. Hey, the entire town turned out for this little wedding. <laughs> right, that's true. Still, it's a little wedding compared to where I'm from. I want to show you off to the whole world. Oh. Oh. Pretty. I was wondering if they were ever going to kiss. It's like you're just going to have a full on conversation. We're married. Enjoy the wedding. Oh my gosh. Oh, I am so excited. This is great. You look beautiful. Oh, you look positively radiant, my dear one. And you're more enchanting than the northern lights, my love. Aww. Oh, Aurora Borealis themed weather phenomena compliment. Stop it. You'll make me get all misty. Now, Shu, go talk to our guests before I start blubbering. I don't want to have puffy eyes when we do manage to sneak off. 
Ooh. All right. Gonna talk to everybody. Get all my congratulations. You and Giva certainly didn't waste any time finding each other once you moved here. No. Nope. Maybe our island will get a reputation for helping people find love. Yeah, maybe. Congrats! And here I thought you and Giva moving here would give me competition in the single scene. Guess I was wrong about that. <laughs> oh, man. Does this mean I'm going to have to trek all the way up the mountain pass whenever I want to hang with you? No. Giva is moving in with me. She is. Oh, good. Not that I mind a little cardio, but it's like, did she have to move in all the way at the top? <laughs> That's how I felt about it, too, walking up there all the time. Oh my gosh, Amira. As a former moving truck lesbian, I congratulate you and Giva on taking your time to move in together. Well, the fairy wouldn't lug a moving truck here anyway, so <laughs> kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I am going to come over here and stand next to Giva and see if she will take a picture with me. There's oh my gosh, how pretty. Oh my gosh, we're going to save that picture. I want to take plenty more pictures. They are so cute. I love it. Aw, I love that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I am just so excited for Tara. She finally got married. And I'm so happy it was Giva, too. Giva is such a great character. I love her so freaking much. We are, they just, look at them. They're so cute together. Adorable. I can't wait to see their babies. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Boop. 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 Boop.